Yo, what is happening, Dragonfly? This your boy, David Dix, aka Dragon AD. Man, I just got done watching uh, Batman, The Killing Joke. Uh, let me let me tell you something in particular. Okay, first off, the comic. Uh, when I first heard about The Killing Joke, I found it. Uh, I found it to be a, a, a very good book, a very good, interesting book to read on, bro. Um, like, from the difference between the movie and the comic book, it went back to a flashback in the beginning. It's like a flashback, which didn't have happened in the comic book, but uh, <clears throat> I don't even think, like, I don't even know, no, exactly, really, now that I think about it. Okay, let me start off with the movie first. Okay, I'm I'm gonna start off the review in the beginning, middle, and end. Uh, really, this is a really uh, easy review since I already know since I read on the comics of it. I read the comic of it. No, I think I was um I think I seen a comic uh, version of it. I was watching um, comics explained. Yeah, they uh yeah they uh it's a YouTube channel called Comic Explain. It, it explain about all it get in deep 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 details of uh comic books and stuff. So I I think I remember watching the uh, comic comics explain and it was explain uh all looking at the killing joke and they got then deep deep deep, deep de details about that. Um so yeah when I um uh, when I was looking like noticing about that book I was interest about you know what I'm saying like what's the story is about now that I you know seeing this like what was the story about I wanted to see a movie version of it and thank god they made a movie version of it bro so alright let me get into this review man alright Batman the killing joke um like I said it was a, a, a very good interesting um movie to get into bro um okay I'm gonna start off with the beginning in the beginning alright uh it starts off in a flashback with Barbara, Batman, and yeah, Batgirl, Batman, Barbara, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you start off with Batgirl and Batman, how they in a partnership, and then you know they trying to take down um, this um, some dude named pa Paris, Paris, what's his name? Paris, France, Paris. It was something like that. That was his criminal. Right? So Barbara just. Um, I get you know they had a uh, they had some type of a relationship going in the beginning you know that was kind of weird and then it led up to the scenes all the way up to like a sex scene like they didn't show like um, they didn't show them like having sex but it was showing like preparing for that scene that's what it was like and then when I seen the scene I was like oh how old Batman is and first of all I know Barbara got to be like 20, 20 something, and Bruce got to be like, let me see, I want to, I want to say around at that time, he looked like he was around it in 30 something, so it really, it really don't even matter, now I think about it, but out of that, man, it shows in the beginning, like, really basically just the partnership with Barbara and Bruce, Batman and Batgirl, you know what I'm saying, just led all the way up to the middle part of the story. Which is basically the whole comic of what led up to the meta part, which is, um, okay. If you haven't read the comic, man, I suggest you should go to, honestly, I think, you y'all, basically, you should uh, go to Comic Explain. Um, go to their YouTube channel, check it out, man. They got a whole bunch of stories and detail, going to deep details of the favorite comic books that you like or love. You know, they do, um... This guy named Rob, the Rob that um that does that channel. He do Marvel, Mar. Let me see Marvel, uh, DC, all them type of comic books, man. But yeah, man. Now off to the middle part. Like I said, it was mostly just like the um the comic book, which is based off on like um. Okay, after after the flashback um first part of the um movie, it goes to where. Yeah, like I said, the comic book, and then it starts off with Batman trying to investigate the killings at um 
Arkham Asylum. And then Batman, he's um, he trying to interrogate the Joker, come to find out the Joker wasn't there. It was an imposter that took his spot. And then the Joker managed to escape the um, escape Arkham Asylum, and then he was free. So with jo it, and then it cut to a scene where the Joker he was trying to buy this amusement park um, from this guy, ended up killing him, and then. It showed some scenes in a movie of the Joker's flashbacks of how he became the Joker. Um, you know, some of the, some of the flashbacks just show like uh, the Joker. Let me see. Uh, yeah, the Joker and his wife and his unborn child. Um, yeah, he uh, he was a comedian that had that had problems. Uh, um. He 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 really just he he um it was just he was at a downfall for what he was trying to do. They were trying to stand up. He was trying to do like stand up comedy. So he was trying to do anything to support his family and his unborn child. You know what I'm saying? So he ends up meeting a couple of guys that said, you know, we'll help you out and all this stuff. And then you know, come to find out that they really just using him so they can get to the get to a factory that the Joker used to work at. And then so once you know, so once they got out of that flashback, it was showing like um how it then it led up to where the Joker came to um Barbara and Jim's house. well apartment, whatever you want to call it. So the Joker shoots Barbara and hits her in the spine spinal cord. Leave her paralyzed, and then basically, what Joker wanted to do to prove a point that you know anybody can have a bad day and go insane. Um, that was he was trying to prove a point on Jim, and so what they done, they kidnapped Jim, and then Joker was still there. He stripped down um, Barbara, and then and then he cut to another scene. I think, I think it was like the uh, I think it was another flashback where it showed like um. Come to find out, they went to the back to the flashback of the Joker, where he um, where the police, well, he was talking to these other two criminals that um, they were finna get ready to um, get ready to sneak into another um factory company, something like that, and then come to find out, two officers came in and tried to you know give Joker the news of what happened, the tragic accident that happened to his wife and his unborn child. Uh, I want to say did they die or nah I don't, I don't even think she died I don't even think she died but uh, I think she died or then again I think she did so I, you know I, I, got, I really got to look back on that part just to find out but I didn't it man um, yo so it showed this scene and then it goes back to the present time where after you know, Batman found out what happened and all that. Um, he went to the hospital, and then he went to see um, he went to see Barbara, and then Barbara. Nah, yeah, he um he was at, at the hospital with Barbara and um Bullock. Bullock. I can't I can't remember Jim's um partner full name. Harvey Harvey Bullock something like that. I can't remember I can't remember the name, but I know it's Bullock. Uh, so Bullock, he was in the room, and then they were talking down and all that stuff. He was talking to Batman that they found Barbara stripped down naked at her apartment. So, uh, <laughs> I'm really getting detail in this shit. But yeah, man. Um, yeah, this how it was. But uh, yeah. So Bats wanted um wanted to talk to Barbara alone, and then he was talking to Barbara while she was in. Um, like in a like coma like sleep until she woke up and then said you know her father was being kidnapped and then she was telling Batman that Joker was really serious in the eyes that he wanted to prove a point so he um so it cut to another scene where it showed him and Jim Gordon with a whole bunch of circus freaks up in the uh, like in a car like in in a carnival so what they what the Joker was basically were trying to do just drive drive Jim Gordon insane. Um, basically, that didn't work. So Batman came, and uh, 
Yo, really, Batman came and tried to get Gordon out, which he did, and then went back to another flashback of, um, of when the Red Hood, well, the two criminals gave Joker the Red Hood costume when they went in. All of a sudden, they playing with the shit. <laughs> so, the um, kind of found out it was security at Joker's old job because he didn't know that you know it was switched up. You know that they put security guards in there, so basically they was uh the plane got screwed up, so they were trying to haul ass out of the two. I think yeah, the two criminals got killed, and it was just a joke by himself. So really, the uh the policeman they even agreed to sh uh, shoot upon a Joker, but Bats came in and then he said he gonna handle it himself. So he uh he even get ready to um attack the Red Hood, which is the Joker. Kinda found out that the Joker was so frightened that he flipped over a rail, fell all the way down into the chemicals, which made him the Joker. So uh <laughs> Yeah. So after he fell excuse me. So after he fell in the pit in like in a toxic um chemical stuff that he fell in, he Got flesh all the way outside. I don't know how he done it, but uh, kind of find out when he was when he got out of the um factory, he looked in a puddle of water, and it um it showed this iconic iconic moment um where the Joker's like this, and then he left like. <laughs> I mean, uh. It's like oh, uh, when he had them red eyes, like the, the insane, like I'm here, the birth of the Joker. Basically, that's what uh, you can say. So it cuts out to another scene where uh, after, um, yeah, so it cuts to another scene where Jim was telling Batman to throw the book at him or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so... Uh, oh, do it by the book. Do it by the book. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna forget. So, um, so when he told Batman to do that, um, Batman was going through this mirror house, and then the Joker was just talking to him uh, all about having a bad day and how people not too far from insanity of having a bad day, just like the Joker had. So, Bats was finding out these crazy looking ugly circus circus freaks so what he done was he made all the way up to where the joker was and it was like the upside like his apartment his apartment was upside down like everything like his whole his old apartment that he used to live in with his wife like it was upside down then him and bats they were finding out it telling him uh, joker was telling him a joke bats didn't really you know Find it funny because he already heard it, but you know, Batman don't laugh at joke, uh, joke, uh, jokes like that. So it cuts out to where, okay, when they were fighting, and then Bats tackle Joker out the window, and then they got into a um, scuffle, whatever you want to call it. So the Joker put out a gun for the girl to shoot um, Batman. So Batman stopped, and then the Joker shot. shot and then I was thinking it was like the gun that Barbara had got shot by, but apparently I I I know like when he figured to shoot Batman, like I already known for like at this split second like that was a fake gun. That was a fake gun he was gonna shoot Batman with. So it said uh, bang bang bang. You know one of them committed guns they got the little flag on. Yeah, had bang 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 three times on. And the Joker knew he already lost. Okay, this the part. This is the ending right here. This is the end. The part when I said um to where Batman rescued and fought off the circus streets and rescued um Jim. Yeah, this that, that was the part. I that was like the end of part right there. So okay, at the end of part, he got to where the Joker said like um well you gonna go and tell Batman a joke uh. And then he told the joke about some flashlight joke or something like a dude crossing, talking about some huge crazy and all that stuff. Like from them escaping asylum and then they crossing up some roof like bridge or something. Something like that. And then um 
So after he was telling that joke, both of them just started laughing. Okay, this the part they really got me and got everybody confused. Uh, one point in time, like in the comics, they said Batman killed the Joker because like when he, like when they both laughing, they um, Batman had his hands around Joker's neck and then Joker started laughing, but. Batman was still laughing. It was like an insanity joke. Like if you just sit there and you watch a movie at the end, and then if you hear, um, if you hear the Joker, like talk about the joke, it sounded like he re he really like to me. It sounded like he was just really just talking about um Batman and Joker, like like in a crazy way. So in the comics, you will see Batman. Looking like he strained the Joker, which looked like he killed the Joker. But some say he did, some say he didn't, so I don't know. So, but in a movie, right. him and Batman, they were laughing now. But, it was one part where it cut off, okay. Really, it was really just like off the comics, but, okay, when they were laughing, Batman put his hand on the Joker's shoulders. Laughing, like, hard. And then the Joker stopped laughing, but Batman keep laughing. And at that moment, when I seen this part, I'm like, "Damn!" Now that I look at it, now I'm like, did he kill the Joker? What the hell happened? Did Joker just find that not being funny no more? I mean, bro. I mean, like that was that was like at, when I seen that in there, I was like, bro. Like I uh I went back to it like two times, and you know, try to look at it and see like. Was it different from the comics? I mean, like, uh, okay. Like, would he, did he kill the Joker or did he not? Me, myself, personally, I don't know. I want to say that he did. I don't know. Like, it's like, I w the reason I want to say he did because he made Batman crazy at the end. Like, he made him. Like he just like like when Batman saying like one day I'm gonna kill you or you're gonna kill me like it gonna end up out of a different way because you know it it, it just gonna end that way because cause that's at that moment I I, I was thinking like bro uh, I think Batman killed Joke like be honest with you. but um. I don't know. Like I said, that was a confusing ending. But I said the Batman killed the Joker at the end. In the comic version, definitely in the comic version, and the uh, the movie version. So I don't know, bro. Let me know in the comments what you think about this, bro. Me and myself, personally, I enjoyed the movie. I, I really, really enjoyed the movie because, like, like okay, you see some references, like um. In the Killer Joke, you'll see some references from the other Batman movies. Like, uh, okay, there is one with, uh, okay, when Batman was um, analyzing the Joker's pictures, and you see like a picture of him just like in a prison scene, like in a Dark Knight, Dark Knight uh, movie with uh, Heath Ledger playing as the Joker, and how he was sitting in the, um, how he was sitting in the prison just looking uh, when he got captured. Uh, it showed like the same. It mostly like they uh paying a tribute to Heath Ledger on um, the Dark Knight Joker, so I was like, damn, that was, like that, that's crazy when I seen it. And then it was another reference to Batman Begins where uh it was like it was really like a cool reference when it, um uh like in Batman Begins it was that uh, fat cop that Batman railed up, and then he said like. Man, um, I swear to God, and then Batman like swear to me, like you would hear it when he um uh, Batman was trying to interrogate one of the bad guys trying to find a Joker. But I don't know, man, yo, man, like you show like some good references in it. Um, it probably has more. For all I'm concerned, that, that was all I saw, man. But I don't know, man, that was the um, like I said, man, the Killer Joker was really good, man. For um all Batman fans that want to see the movie, man, yeah, you should definitely go and see it. Uh, for the ones who haven't heard of the Killing Joke, uh, I prefer you to go to, like, you want to go deep in the details of the comic book. I suggest you go to uh, Comments Explain. 
check out their um check out their channel you know what i'm saying and try to find like the killing joke killing joke explain because like when i um went to that channel it was like when i read the story it was like very good man so i had to see the move man but other than that man post comments down below let me know what you think about batman the killing joke review me myself person like i said i i liked i liked it um uh, and it was good and interesting at the same time. But other than that, man, uh, if you like my review, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, still hit the thumbs up, all DC fans. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, and I'm going to holler at y'all in the next video. Peace and drag it out.